Hello, Bren. I am your great aunt. And when I was 13 years old, at the beginning of the Second World War, I had to be evacuated. Now, where do you think I was evacuated to? Well, I would think you was evacuated to the countryside. Yeah, well, that, you were wrong there. I was evacuated to Bridlington. Why was you evacuated to Bridlington? Well, I sometimes wonder why. You see, I went to Newland High School for girls mm -hmm. and the school there decided that uh, they would take over a hotel in Bridlington because it would be safer for us to be there. Now I, at the time war was declared, I was staying with my auntie and uncle mm. in a farm near Whitby. So my mum and dad put some clothes in my, in the case in my, my school uniform and gave it to the, my teacher and she brought it up to Bridlington with some other girls that were coming from the school to be evacuated. Yeah. And I went down from the farm, all by myself, and met my friends at the Norbeck Hotel in Bridlington. And I was very excited because, you know, it was such a change for me, leaving my mum and dad in Hull. But everybody was very nice. The school, there was quite a few girls that I knew from my school, the class, and some teachers. and. The, the, the people at the hotel, the staff, stayed to look after us. Now we had a, first of all we had to decide which bedrooms we were going to sleep in. It's a nice big hotel and so we, we were given, I was given a, a bedroom with another girl, another friend. We were all about 13 years old and after we settled in, we had a lovely time because we were allowed to go out on the front. Have you been to Bridlington? A couple of times. I think, you know, it's the seaside, isn't it? Mm. Yes, Bridlington. So we went, we were allowed to go out and uh, we had a lovely time going on the beach, finding shells. Mm. Do you like finding, picking shells well, on the beach? yeah. Yes. Especially the ones that make sounds like waves crashing. Yes. Oh, yes. To your ear. Mm. And then also we went. Um, we 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 had. We don't know where we got the jam jars from. Perhaps the the, the staff at the hotel. And what do you collect in jam jars at the seaside? Mm -hmm. Fishy things, don't we? Yeah. You know, little fishes and little crabs and mm. things like that. Well, of course. We brought them back and put them on the window ledge in the bedroom and after a while they got rather smelly so we had to pour them down the toilet. Now other things we did in the hotel, we, one, one day we got quite a few of our friends, about six of our friends, I got them into the bedroom and uh, we decided to sing a very popular song. And it was, it was, there were six in the bed and the middle one said, Roll over. over. Did you know that? Yeah. And they all rolled over and mm -hmm. one rolled out and there were five in the bed. And so we all sang that. Eventually, we were all on a heap and the, on the floor. Well, of course, we did have to um, go to school because that was the whole point of go going there. So... What do you think we had to do to go to school? Because hmm? our school was still in Hull, on Cottingham Road. Did you have to walk? We had to walk, yes. And we had to walk from the seafront at Bridlington, right up the hill to Bridlington Old Town. And we were allowed to share the Bridlington Girls High School. And we had our own teachers, of course, and they carried on teaching us with our own lessons. But you know, I don't think the girls at Bridlington High School liked us very much. <laughs> because we came from, from Hull and they didn't know us, you see. So 
after, after just a little while, it was decided that perhaps Bridlington on the coast wasn't the best place to be evacuated to because there was a um, bomb dropped on a ship just on the coast, at this out of sea on the coast, so it decided it wasn't safe. So we all had to go back home to Hull and back to school. Mm. Anyhow, it decided it was still not safe to stay in Hull in case it was going to be dangerous with bombing raids and things. Mm. So I decided to would be re-evacuated. And this time, where do you think we went? Because it wasn't safe going to the coast, so where do you think, where did you say after you thought I might go? Well, somewhere around the countryside. Yes, so the second time we went into the country and we went to Norton, which is just on the outskirts of, uh, of um, the Malton. country town, Malton. So off we went. Uh, the same girls practically, but this time I was billeted, that means where you have to live, with two, with a couple, a, a, a man and a woman, a married man and woman, in a tiny little council house. And it was so different from the hotel we'd lived in, just my friend and I. So we got settled in and it they were very kind to us. And, uh, but it was different altogether. It was even smaller than the houses that we lived in ourselves in Hull. And all I remember about living in that house was being allowed, I don't know why, paint the bathroom walls. Now, can you imagine what it was like, the two of us paint, I wonder why they, why they let us paint the bathroom walls. But they did. <laughs> Perhaps they were such a mess that they thought they better do. They seemed, to, as far as I remember, they were very kind. And the, the man worked at the pig factory. So w once or twice he was bringing some pork, you know, pork comes from the pigs, mm. to Hull. So he kindly let my friend and I come with him on a rickety lorry all the way to Hull. We were a bit frightened because there was no um, no, seat belts. no seat belts or anything. We just had to squeeze off the front seat with him. So we, but we were so thrilled because we were coming home to see our mum and dad for just a little while. So that's what we did. And we had a lovely time there. We went to, we were allowed to walk about in the countryside. We would go and visit our other friends who lived in other houses. And uh, I always remember pick, picking brambles for the, the, the lady that we lived with, but she made jam or something. And then, um, yes, we went to, we, we did all sorts of things like that, went walking and so on. And I also went to Sunday school at the, the Methodist chapel there. But of course, once again, we had to, we went there to, to learn, learn our lessons. And we had our teachers there, but not living with us this time. So this time, we had a long, long walk. We had to walk from Norton right through Malton, which I don't, have you ever been to Malton? No, I don't think so. No, well, probably been through it. Yeah, you've yeah. driven through it. You've it's on the through. way to Flamingo land. It's on the way to Flamingo. So we had to walk all the way right to the top of the north end of Old Malton <coughs> to the school, Malton High School there. And it was a mixed school. And it was up a hill as well. But that was a two mile walk. So, yes. And um, we, the, I would say our teachers uh, taught us how we were on our own teach, being taught there and we quite enjoyed it and the, ch the other pupils there were quite friendly to us although we, we were on our own uh, with our own teachers and you know the only thing I can remember I learnt at that school was the Australian song mm. Waltzing Matilda 
No, do you won't know once in the till. Hmm? No, but his mum will. That is mum. Once in the till, once in the till, oh come a once in the till. That's all I remember. But didn't you miss your mum and dad when you were away from them? That's just what I was going to ask. Yes, mm. now. Well, of course I did. But you see, I was a bit older than that. I mean, I was 13 years old, so I really understood what was happening. I mean, I knew where my mum and dad were, and I knew that I could probably get back to see, yeah. see them, and I did get back to see them. Not like some of the the little boys and girls, the babies that were evacuated, that didn't know why they were leaving the mummies and the daddies. So but It must have been very frightening with the bombing going on at home though. Uh, it hadn't really started. Right. You see, this was short term. And um, so, I uh, said, so we, we, uh, we, we enjoyed ourselves there at, uh, at uh, Malton High School. And say so we, we had, Nowadays, you wouldn't want to walk two miles there and two yeah. miles back, would you? Mm -hmm. No, they only go like half, not even half, half a mile. Half a mile, maybe. Half a mile. Well, you see, there was no cars, no, no, might have, there would be a bus, I suppose, but no, we had to walk. So that was our time at Morton, but we didn't stay long there. I don't think we were very keen. Perhaps our parents were very happy of where we were staying, the house we were staying, because it, it wasn't really. Nobody was unkind to us, but it wasn't very nice. But you know, our teachers were all very kind to us. They were very strict, but they were very kind to us. Mm. Because some of them wouldn't be used to looking after girls uh, other than just teaching them. But there we are. So mm. eventually we went home again. And sadly, I went home to face the bombing of Hull, where the, you know, you've heard about Hull, the air raids coming and, um, and bombing us. So really, I, I went back at the wrong time, didn't I? Yeah. But um, that's how it was. So, did, you, did you have a shelter in the garden? At yes, Lombax? we had a shelter in the garden, a brick shelter, but we didn't really it wasn't really a lot of good because in Hull they couldn't build shelters below ground mm -hmm. because of the level of, of Hull. Yeah, because of the Some water. have had uh, um, Anderson's shelters, yeah. didn't they? But um, so it was a brick shelter. And I know we used to, we used to go in it and uh, have everything, you know, the, the uh, flasks of tea and, and blankets and things. And, uh, well, first of all, we did we, we did go sometimes, but it was it wasn't it was quite horrific, mm. quite horrific when when we had to night after night go into the area chat. Or sometimes we would sit under the stairs <laughs> because it, that was more comfortable and easy to sit under the stairs, and um, so. So Not I do very safe then. What do you think about sitting under the stairs then? Well, I mean, what if your stairs fall on mm. top of Well, they say in the houses they thought that was the safest yeah, the safe place. place to be. And, the, and I was under the stairs when the house I lived in was not, but, but it was damaged. Yeah. It was damaged. And uh, so that, so really, I was very happy being evacuated and being with my friends because we were all friends together and you know even with being evacuated I still um, thankful for the education that I got even though even when I came back and and it was there was some, some nasty things going on in Hull uh, and we had to share our school Newland High School with another school that had been badly damaged Somehow I managed to have a good grounding in my education that's kept me in good stead all my life. Mm -hmm. And I hope you'll appreciate the, the advantages you have of the good education you have. And I hope and pray that you'll never have to go through what I went through. Well, thank you. Thank you.